the most reluctant walk-on I think I've ever seen at the uh, European Tour Darts. Wayne Jones eventually making his way onto the stage when he felt like it. And we're just about all set now for the final match of the afternoon session and it features another of our host nation qualifiers, Christian Callinger, hoping to go the same way as Zoran Lurchbacker early today who beat Lee Bryant 6-4 to advance to the second round here. Three more Austrian qualifiers to come this evening, all of them from the Rodrigo stable. But for now, the eyes of a nation are on this man, Christian Callinger, up against Wayne Jones playing on the European Tour once again. His most recent European Tour event was at this venue 12 months ago when he lost 6-1 to Dimitri Vandenberg. So 12 months on, he'll be hoping for a much well, much longer and much deeper run in this tournament. Paul Nicholson watching this one alongside me. I've been looking forward to this game all afternoon. I'm a big fan of Wayne Jones, what he's done for the game, and the amount of effort he's put into his career. But you always like to see the journeyman, the consummate professional against the home favourites. Yeah. It's a nice balance, a nice mix for this final match of the afternoon. Wayne Jones, 52 years old. A man who, up until 2016, had played in every World Championship since 2005, including a run to the semis in 2006 when he lost to Peter Christian to throw first. Game on. That sequence, though, ended, given he failed to win enough money on the Pro Tour. He lost in the quarterfinals of the qualifiers that year. Didn't qualify for the last World Championship either. Just inside the top 100 in the world rankings at this moment in time. 100. Callinger starting things off with a turn and getting a pretty generous round of applause for his efforts as well. He may need to produce more than that today if he's to stand a chance here. 50. Callinger. Well, this is almost uncharted territory for him. He did play in this event four years ago, but that was his only sample of the European Tour. Lost in the first round to Mark Walsh that day, 6 3. And his check for 500 quid was the biggest of his career to date. Until now. Until now. Because he's guaranteed a thousand pounds hit. Making it through. 35 years old. From the resource of Oberpullendorf. 140. Well, he's got his hands full today, that's for sure. He's playing one of the most experienced guys, if not the most experienced guy, on the circuit now. 60. Well, there's plenty of support for him, as you might imagine. I did go out into the arena just uh, half an hour or so ago, and um, it's deceptive. There are a lot of fans. One hundred and And of course, when the... Uh, Three Austrian players on stage tonight, and we've got Sudovic joining the fun tomorrow as well. As, of course, the rest of the top 16 seeds too. It should 60, be when you're involved, lively over the course of the weekend. There could be some fireworks. But for right now, Wayne Jones is looking at treble 18. Doesn't fancy that one. 39. Well, this one would raise the roof. 60. Wouldn't it just... Because Mr. Callinger is from Austria, this one would probably be in the papers. Well, that won't be in the papers. 82. When you require 84. How many times has Wayne Jones checked out 84 in his career? Travel 16. Not he's 77. It does favour double 16, so it doesn't surprise me that he went that 67. route. 67. Chris, he requires 78. Not what the doctor ordered to leave 17, no. but he was looking for treble 10 there as opposed to treble 15. That's, sometimes that happens. But double 12. This checks for the referee. You're allowed to do that. Long way off. Still open, though. 66. Maybe yeah, it's getting a bit hotter out there. He's rubbing his fingers, wasn't he, as he uh, went to retrieve. So, double 8 for Jones for a 1 0 lead and a break of throw in the opener. Double 4. Yeah, Game shot in the first leg, Wayne Jones. Right in the top corner of that double four bed. And Second it is leg, an Wayne early break Jones. for Jones. first. A man who Game made on. the semi-finals of one of these European Tour events four years ago. That was in the German Darts Masters. He beat Michael van Gerwen 
in the last 32 that, uh, that particular tournament, and then Gary Anderson in the last 16. 100. I don't think there's too many people that have beaten both Van Gerwen and Anderson in the same Euro Tour event. Then lost to uh, Mervyn King in the semis, which uh, ended the run. Made the last four Ooh, in the uh, Dutch Masters as well in 2012 when he beat Phil Taylor in the last eight. So he's had some really good runs. I won't mention who he lost to in that uh, quarterfinal. That's how we'll do. It was the man. I think I played pretty well that night. Yeah. Yeah, I think I had a 100 average against Wayne that night. That was one of my best performances on the Euro Tour. But that was a long time ago. That's only five years ago, Paul. <laughs> a lot can happen in five years. I'd just like to touch on Wayne's demeanour at the very start of the match. His walk on songs by Metallica. And the only thing that Wayne and I talk about, aside from darts, is music. And he is oh, such a big rock fan. He loves Metallica and Judas Priest and Dio and all of that kind of thing. He may not look it, but he is one of the coolest men that walk the darting planet. He really is. That's pretty cool as well. Yeah, Coming again, the crowd on their feet. Great chance to break back here with Jones struggling to find the big number once again with the first dart. So six darts from here for Canada to break back. It's been a really good leg for him. The more he gets the crowd involved up, I feel he can ride the wave of adrenaline that he's going to get from this. 45. Now Wayne knows the position of this leg, the amount of matches he's played. But if he can stick in two trebles here, he's going to put Christian under so much pressure. 60. Well, the thing is, he couldn't even find one. 95. Okay, he's down to 149, but not too much pressure on Callinger here. Still won't finish. 32. Scratching Are around at the moment, Callinger. He was down to 140 after nine darts, and he's still only down to 63. But uh, once again, Jones, first dart, hitting the five, but recovering well, just as he did last time. 81. Everything you require, 63. 63 is usually treble 13. Or that and double 19. That's different. 44. And that's the hazard, you see. Now we split it. Well, you won't see that in too many. Well, you require 68. Textbooks, will you? Um, very much a soft tip way of going, I think. But now, the equation's easy. Tops. It's tops. 48. So Everything you require, 19. Two darts up the double. Double four. Well, Callinger only 15. got himself to blame here. 140 down to after nine darts, and now he's still only on... When you require 20. Well, 21 darts later, and uh, he's got uh, double two to find, and he may not get the opportunity. Well, we don't think it's Christmas if he hits this. Ten. 12 darts he's taken to 15. score 136. Four. Callinger is running out of... Well, running out of time here and options, but he's bound to double two and he raises his hands almost. <laughs> Mocking the really. Jones knows that's one that will make. Christian to throw first. Game on. Well, it was definitely a leg to shake your head at. Sometimes you just got to brush them off and move on. And the amount of times that Wayne Jones has done that, 41. we wouldn't be able to count it because the man's been around the world, around Europe, around the UK, around everywhere playing darts. And he did struggle 43. up until recently. And the one thing about Wayne Jones that everybody knew was that the darts he used wouldn't change. A few years ago, when he had to change them, 58. You went to a new set and things just didn't seem to work. And it was always the same short, bulbous barrel, short stem, pear shaped flight. At the beginning of this season, he made a 100. conscious change. He went to a very conventional, slightly longer barrel, mild groove dart. What's happened this year? He's got himself into this tournament. That's a fantastic 100. achievement. However, He's won a PDC event for the first time ever. It may not be a pro tour event. It was a challenge tour event. I think he's won two of them now. 
But the fact of the matter is, he's actually oh, won no, no, two no, events this year you. against great opposition. That's got to give you confidence. And I firmly believe, and I've said this on many occasions, that Wayne Jones is the best player in the world never to have won a PDC Pro Tour 56. event. He's won the most money out of anybody not to have won a one. Yeah. Fifty-eight. And he may not be being, playing his best dots today, and Christian also. I firmly think that is really down to the conditions starting to heat up outside, yeah. and it's coming into the arena now. You can see the mist in the crowd. Another one of those will be handy. Oh, that's perfect. This will be a peach. 140. To settle for a 140 to set up double 10. Ninety-one. When you require twenty. It's squared off the ninety-one. James looking at double ten hit. Maybe, maybe so a glimmer of hope here for Callum Gill once again. Well, the one thing you can't teach people when they play darts is how to handle the heat and handle the pressure. You've got to get up there and do it yourself. And for a 2-1 lead for the Austrian, he's got two darts, one on his left hand, one on his right, and he's got double top. One dart left for tens, Eight. and pushes the wire. When you require ten. To get out of jail, Wayne Jones has got a tricky, tricky double five. Well, it's, uh, turning into that sort of match, isn't it? Another 20 something right here. And Kalinga. Once again, just finding something. James has a beautiful look about him. When we played in Hamburg a couple of weeks ago, should I say that the players played in Hamburg? I was in the commentary box. A lot of them said how warm it was in the hall. And in this day and age of technology, where people have got smartphones and tablets and laptops, it's easy to get online and check the forecast and see how hot it will be. And you've got to do things accordingly to make yourself comfortable up there. We did see someone with the freshening spray up there. We still have another chance to check out that. But that says to me that they have prepared themselves the fact that it's hot is not an excuse to, for playing badly you've just got to adjust 100. I'm sure Wayne Jones has played in arenas hot, hotter than this I'm sure I mean the Circus Tavern was one of them it was close in there, yeah. small roof 140. and he's played very well in there as well almost like a layer of ozone just below the ceiling <laughs> Yeah, he's had some terrific results on the Challenge Tour this year, has uh, James. Won a couple uh, over the uh, middle weekend of April. Smattering of uh, final appearances as well and quarterfinals, uh, a recent quarterfinal too. Had a crack at the Players' Championship events in uh, Wigan last 17. weekend where he was topping the field. Made the last 16 of one of those. Making the last 16 of one of those events is almost the same as the prize money for winning a challenge to event. Yeah, it's a, it's a field of one to eight. It's a, it's a long, hard road. Easy one. Are you recording 149? Eight in the second round. 146 left. That leaves 86. That leaves his favourite double. 17. What a beautiful Three approach. You 86. But Kalinga can just snuff it all out here with uh, 86. Bullseye he wants then. Well, he clearly wasn't happy with that. Any dart player that graces that stage, if they don't hit at least a 25, it's a failure. Misses this double 16, it will be a failure. He's still able to hit this. And he gets it in there. That was an experienced shot. All in a line, wasn't it? Two apiece.
think one of the oh, things that people tend to forget him. about Wayne Jones is he's made a major final. Yeah. European Championship 2010. That was in Dinslaken, in Germany. Yeah, well, you look at his CV, I mentioned that one of the semi-finals of the World Championship, the final of the European Championship. You've mentioned the semi-final at the Grand Slam also in 2010. 2010, he made the quarters of the Players' Championship finals, the quarters of the World Grand Prix, and the quarters of the World Match Play. What a year that was for him. Finalist of the World Masters in 99 as well. When he made the semi-finals of the Grand Slam in Wolverhampton, obviously his hometown, that place was rocking that year. 60. He was actually walking out to the High Ho Silver Lining song that Kim Hybrex walks out to now. Yeah. And every single player who was in that practice room went out and watched his walk on because it was just sensational. Because they played him on a Saturday night. 96. <laughs> on the same day that Wolverhampton Wanderers played in their hometown. And it was just one of those days where everything was jumping. Yeah. And they, they played a feature of, of Wayne Jones because he did so well that week. And how he kept getting the bus from his house to the arena. He didn't get a cab. He didn't get picked up by one of security guys from, from the PDC. He got the bus with his shirt in his hand. And that just goes to show how humble the man really is. Nice touch. 45. Well, Jones just might start uh, thinking he could snip this one as well. 140. Very soon you recall, 140. Another one of those will be handy. That would have left double 16. 92. Still not bad. 101. What Wayne Jones would give for a 61st dart. Treble 15. Or 19. Double 12. 77. The momentum just keeps going up and down, up and down. It's like an oscilloscope yeah. in here. It's uh, shifting continuously here, the balance of power. Yeah, but uh, Carrington really yeah. yeah. sets out double top for a 3 2 so lead. Going way into could be on course for another 6 5 scoreline here. We've had three of those on the spin Idams against Pike, Hybrex against Wilson, and Rotaisky against Villianen. 100. A couple of six fours today as well. Jamie Bain, the most emphatic winner, beating Christian Kiss 6 1. This might be a visit to forget. 33. There we see, not the uh, tidiest numbers you'll see. When you've got your own song, and Christian Callinger is singing his name because he's 3 2 in front. They could do with improving as well, but it is a, it's an enjoyable match. This one, it's, I can say, one that flips from one, one side to the other. And every now and then, Callinger just gets the crowd going, doesn't it? A lot make him feel good. Makes everybody feel good. 108. The only person 60. who will rebut that is Wayne Jones. Now we mentioned that Christian Callinger's biggest paycheck up to date was 500 quid. He wins this match. He's on 2,000. 2,000 pounds. 100. It's a few more in Euros. Easy one. Well, Kalinger again here. Very good first nine darts. Can he back it up? 60. Could have been better, could have been a lot better in fact. I think the standard is gradually getting better here. Some of the mistakes they were making earlier in the match are being erased. Yeah, the finishing needs uh, 60. a bit of work to uh, embellish the stats that we currently have. The averages both in the 70s, high 70s, but yeah, moving in the right direction. It's got it. Bullseye. Oh, what a check out from Christian Gallinger. That's got the crowd going even more. I'll I have tell you to say, what. I did not see that coming, but the way he's been finishing, the way I was just talking about how the finishing stats needed improving, well, they've done precisely that there, Christian Gallinger. 4-2. Finish of the afternoon for me. 
absolutely brilliant finish on the but it was a Easy great one. bullseye shot it was right in the middle yeah and that was a cattle prod to the trousers to win jones it really was he felt that especially as Callinger's last attempt at the ball was miles away when he, when he hit the single nine. Well, 4-2. Maybe something special here as well. Could well be that we have another Austrian through to the second round tomorrow, and that will certainly keep the tournament alive. Always great to have a host nation involved and mentors here as well, but to have further Austrian representation. Sulevich doesn't want to be the one that they always rely on for good news stories. Well, we talked earlier with Ronnie Hybrex about the the help that the Hybrex boys gave the Belgian game and allowed other people to come through, and the inspiration that they have given to the likes of Mike De Decker and Dimitri Vandenberg and Kenny Nains. Yeah. What has Sulevich and Roby John Rodriguez and those guys? What have they done for Austrian darts? They, they get one tournament a year where they can have a host nation qualifier. They get this one weekend to make a name for themselves. And if they do well, potentially, they will want to go on and try other qualifiers. 139. Wayne Jones is now officially in trouble. Yeah, good approach play again by Callinger there. Trouble 19, order 140. Reaching your corner, 58. Double top. Oh, that's pretty unforgivable. That is unforgivable. Can't afford to miss the big number. 26. Can Wasted he be punished? When you Wasted darts for Callagher. Could well be punished here by Jones. Needs to bring all his experience to the fore here. So it's a bullseye. Again. And this time it's off 36. target. 36. So a left off for Callagher. A massive left off, you have to say, as well. But he makes the most of it. Here's Duca. 16, nothing wrong with his finishing now. Game off. Took the bullseye very cleanly. Took double 16 very cleanly as well. 5-2 the scoreline. Jones in a great big cul-de-sac now and he can't find the reverse. 100. Well, if you guys at home think this is a very strange result so far, because it is against the form book, the stranger fact of the matter is you've got two oh, Austrians in the crowd dressed as Irishmen. Yeah, I noticed a bit of green out there today. See, everybody wants to be a bit Irish. Even the Austrians, and there's nothing wrong with that. 97. This will be undoubtedly the best game and the best win of Callinger's darting career. And he would get the opportunity 100. to play against Michael van Gerwen yep. on a occasion. Saturday in Austria. On a Saturday night in Austria, in Vienna. What an occasion that would be for him. 140. Okay, first round defeat when he last qualified for this tournament four years ago. Don't worry about the averages now, Christian. Just 60, when you're going 64. Well, Wayne Jones knows that if he can just pick off a leg at a time, he can put pressure on Kalinga and make him a bit jittery. We've all been in this situation where we think it's the biggest game of our lives and we've been in front. 100. Still got to get across the line. When you're going Wayne Jones can stop that Perfect with a six that. and a tops. 66. Well, Jones not find tops. Callinger is back. And the way he's been finishing lately, you would not put it past him. Can he find the big number? Yes, he can. Christian Callinger. Nice. Just inside double 11. Well, it was unconventional, but it almost worked. Match dart, one missed. Will he get another visit? Not in this leg, he won't. And Wayne Jones chips away at that deficit. And he's only two legs away from being on level terms. Palling has got the darts though. Yeah. 47. 
haven't even mentioned the fact that Kellinger had three games to get through yesterday against David Lersch. That was 6 0. Manuel Fisher, 6 1. And he beat one of the first guys to really get to the World Championships from Austria, Dietmar Berger. 6 1. Wayne Jones himself. Could be very proud in taking out Kyle Anderson in qualifying, 6 yeah. 5. And Michael Barnard, who is always tough to play. Yeah. Yeah, Kyle Anderson, 6 5, the number three seed in qualifying, not here this weekend. 85. It's almost a shame that Kyle couldn't come back. He played so well here last yeah. year. Certainly did. 83. This is all pretty nervy stuff now. Yes. Wayne Jones has got a look in his face as if to say, I'm coming for you. Yeah, he's got the darts here. Well, he? Shame he couldn't find a second treble there, though, but still in a very good position on the Callinger throw. 64. Well, that's good thinking from Callinger because he knows that on 271, a single 19, a 25, and a 60 leaves 170. It's good maths. 94. What can he do to pressurise Wayne Jones' 82? 95. When you require 82. Bullseye double 16, he'll be looking at. He may be looking at it, but he's not got it. He's hit the 20 instead. So 62 remaining. Bullseye then. 57. Close to this time, but Tracy, not close enough. I think the bullseye was a little covered there. I think he was having second thoughts about what to do. Treble 18 would have left tops. Yeah, you can see the angle. 90. When you require there. 25. Well, Jones Please. should have two darts at a double here. And he has. Double eight. Nine. He's Cuts. left double 11 again. Find his Three way through. Required and 22. he's left double 11 again. And this Eight. time he's got three Shot. goes at it. And, and Christian Kalinga becomes the second Austrian qualifier to book his place in the second round here in Vienna. Zoran Lerschbacher beat Lee Bryant earlier on. And now Christian Kalinga, the 35-year-old from Oberpullendorf, a man who qualified for this event four years ago but was beaten in the first round, has gone one better here and he's guaranteed himself at least £2,000 for the biggest paycheck of his career by some, some distance. It could be even more. The trouble is, he's got Michael Van Gerwen in the second round tomorrow. We'll see how he fares in that one over the course of the weekend. But plenty more darts to look forward to in tonight's evening session from 7 o'clock. We've got the three Rodriguez brothers in action as well. Match of the night over me. Chris Doby against David Pallet, but plenty of other candidates as well. Join us from 7 o'clock local time here for the continuation of the first round play here at the Austrian Darcy.